So today I'm going to compare the two ways to get blue blood in PUBG. The first way is Korean rating, and the second way is the colorblind mode in in-game settings. So first off, to use Korean rating, all you have to do is go to Manage, Properties, and then go to Launch Options, type in dash Korean rating, uh, all one word, but it is case sensitive. And then you can just close this tab. So to access colorblind settings, go to Settings, Gameplay, and then it's the top row, and you can see there's four choices. Normal, Deuteranopia, Protonopia, and Tritonopia. So in this video, I want to deep dive into the differences between using colored blood, or Korean rating, or normal blood. So one of the primary differences is that Korean rating actually changes the color of your Molotovs. So here's a regular Molotov. So regular Molotovs and all three colorblind Molotovs look like this. They look like normal fire. So by contrast, here's what a Molotov looks like when you're on Korean rating. Notice that it's green. This also feeds into whether you prefer colored blood settings or normal blood settings is really just a personal preference. Some people find these green Molotovs easier to see, some people find them harder to see than regular fire. So next I want to show you why you would want to use something other than the default blood effects and compare colorblind modes versus Korean rating. So that's what killing someone looks like with regular settings. So here's what getting a kill looks like on Korean rating. So notice the green blood, and then the body disappears as soon as the regular animation completes. So with Deuteranopia, you'll get a purple blood. Protonopia, you get a very light blue, bright blood. With Tritonopia, you'll get a very bright orange blue blood. The next thing I want to explore is the difference between healing animations on Korean mode versus regular mode. So regular first aid, you have a syringe audio cue, as well as you can visually watch the syringe be injected into your arm. So here's what healing looks like on career rating. Notice the syringe effect is missing and your character just pats himself. So putting it all together, why do you want to use Korean settings or blue blood? So there's a couple main reasons makes it easier to see shots at a distance so you can tell whether you're hitting them or not. It also makes it easier to see what your teammates are shooting because you can just look in a field and look for the blood spurts. The other nice thing about Korean rating is that bodies disappear so you'll never get confused by someone proning next to a body. So picking between Korean rating and Tritonopia, Protonopia, or Deuteranopia and regular. So for me, I prefer either Protonopia, which is the light blue blood, or Korean rating for the green blood and the uh, ability to not see dead bodies. Really it comes down to personal preference, which you prefer. Either one will give you a lot more visibility than the default settings. So the downside to the colorblind blood modes is that it, they also change the color of smokes from airdrops, which can make it slightly harder to see somebody who's looting the drops. The other downside is at p super close range, uh, some of the colorblind blood settings, particularly Protonopia, have very bright blood, and it actually can throw off your tracking a little bit because there's so much blood and it's so bright that it can distract you. So for me, uh, I've used both Korean rating and Protonopia quite heavily. Picking between the two, I like Korean rating because it hides the dead bodies. Let me know in the comments below if there's a specific setting that you like or if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a like. And if you want to see more quick tips and tricks videos, just shoot me a sub on me. I'll be making a couple more. Thanks.